Hi guys, I wanted to show you a comparison of two alpha files before and after a small change is made. And this is what uh, a source control system like Git would see and this is how you would uh, visualize it when you're trying to make a judgment call whether a uh, change is something you want to include or not include. Um, I'm using uh, the latest version of alpha as of this recording and I'll show you my alpha setup here. I've got a simple UX that I created. Um, I added all the fields from the customer table and I saved this file as before. Uh, just a quick preview there. I didn't format it or anything but it's just quick simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the city field and I'm going to turn off the break and I'm going to save this file again as after and now I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a comparison program like notepad plus plus so I've loaded both of those files into notepad plus plus which is a freeware text editor and it comes with a comparison plugin so I'm gonna use this to compare the two files and you can see side by side it's found differences and things like the file name you're going to expect to be different. Um, there's some uh, GUIDs here that are system generated. You're going to see those throughout this file. Um, and I'll scroll down to where there's a change here. And uh, I want to point out right off here that the main change we made is we changed the break type from none. Uh, well, we had it as after first, and then we changed it to none because these are reversed or before and after or backwards here. Um, there's some changes here on these lines, and if I scroll to the right, you can see that one of them says city and one of them says city with the paragraph mark, and that's on two different lines. Um, then there's some other stuff in here. Uh, there's a CRC. There's something that marks whether what its parent container is. There's some, a little bit of code here that is not in the uh, before file, which is kind of interesting. Um, so it shows that it's been uh, there's a difference. But if we scroll down, those lines are over here. Now the CRCs are going to be different, but the other lines aren't different. But they're just stored in a different place in the file. And I've made a request to Alpha to try to keep those lines in order on uh, the same pattern so that way uh, they don't show as false positives, positives in your comparison. Uh, this is actually my second time to record this video. The first time I had uh, microphone issues and there were actually more places where it was showing differences. Some functions and function calls, um, placeholders that were in different spots. Um, down further, it thinks there's a difference in some template. Uh, now, if I go to the end of this line, this line is uh, 13,000 characters long. Um, I don't know how anybody is ever going to compare those two and be able to tell what the difference is. So another request I made to Alpha was to take long lines like that and put carriage returns in them in some kind of strategic manner. So that way uh, a, a comparison program like this will only show me the, the true lines that are different. Uh, there's no way you could know at 13 characters uh, what's different. Um, it could be a CRC, it, it could be somebody typed a word differently, but you know I only changed those to uh, at the paragraph uh, line break. Um, the build count is kind of nice to see that that's a difference. Um, and there's more stuff at the bottom. Again, the timestamp is saved in one place, and on the other file, it's saved in a different place. So even though they're different lines, it's kind of be nice to see them on the same, so I don't see them as, as new lines. I recently submitted uh, some, some of these ideas to Alpha. Um, so just to recap, uh, my first suggestion is save lines in a consistent order so they don't show up as differences uh, in this one sample. Um, all we did was add some variable declarations, just one line of code, and 
according to this is source tree comparison, there was 45 different places in the code there were changes. So that, that's a lot of false positives to have to look through to try to figure out what the differences are. My other suggestion was if you've got GUIDs or CRCs, try to keep those on their own lines so it's pretty obvious that you can kind of just skim over that. If you bury that into a, a really long line, then it's hard to know if there's anything else in that line that's different. Uh, third suggestion was put more carriage returns in there so the lines aren't as long. Of course, ultimately, we want to have a git merge uh, capability. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get that with the way Alpha stores its files. But, of course, that's, that's actually what we want. I hope this video was informative to you and helps you understand a little bit about what's going on. Thank you.